A new antiretroviral drug has been rolled out in KwaZulu-Natal's Ugu district. The drug is said to be more effective with fewer side effects. Pregnant women are being cautioned not to use it. For more on this, I'm joined by Dr. Michelle Moahas, Head of Treatment Strategies at Izinsa. Very good morning to you. Morning, Jane. Thank Tell you. us about this new drug. Sure. So we've been waiting quite a long time for this one in HIV. It feels a little bit like we've had an elephant pregnancy. We've been poised and waiting for it. Its name is dolutegravir. And what it is replacing is the treatment that we've been using called efavirenz. Uh, and, you know, it has a lot of benefits over efavirenz. It's incredibly well tolerated. It's a very robust drug in terms of managing HIV. And it also has a very high barrier to resistance. So, you know, sometimes when people have been on ARVs for a while, they don't necessarily work as well and they develop resistance. With dolutegravir, it actually has a, it really is difficult to become resistant to it. So we look forward to people being able to take this treatment for a long, long time. And how do they take it? So it's very easy to take. It's one tablet which combines all three of the medications we need. You know, when we treat HIV, we always use three drugs. They're all in one pill that you take once a day. And it's a little bit of a smaller pill than the treatment we have been using up until now, which to be honest is a relatively large pill. Other than being more fact effective dealing with the, the side effects of it. I mean, what, what else is it doing that the, the previous drug was hampered with? So the one thing is in the short term, the tolerability is a lot better. So it's really a lot easier to adhere to it. You know, people sometimes just don't feel right on their treatment. And with dolutegravir, we find that actually people tolerate it very well. We recently did a big study at WITS, um, and what we saw is that actually people didn't actually stop their treatment because of side effects, but actually the reason that they were likely to stop their treatment was more about the fact that they actually probably felt quite well and were getting back to mm. life and becoming busy. Why and, do they need to take it anyway? Yeah, and getting a new job, and now I'm going to leave the city and, you know, go somewhere else so it was really they were getting back to life and living again but I mean it's important to remember what's getting you back to being so healthy and to stay on to it and why not for pregnant women so there was a signal from the drug when it was rolled out at scale in Botswana and what we saw there is they have very good surveillance around pregnancy and we saw some events there which are called neural tube defects so what that is is when a fetus is developing and the central nervous system so the brain and the spinal cord are developing sometimes there can be a fault in that now what we don't really know We've only seen this in Botswana. When we look at data from other parts around the world, we haven't seen this issue with pregnant women. But the other thing that dolutegravir offers us, because it's such an effective treatment and offers so many benefits, there are other adverse outcomes that women who are pregnant with HIV face. And it's really important that we contextualize a small risk, a slightly increased risk potentially with dolutegravir, but it has not been shown in our population. And important, obviously, because of how prevalent it is in KwaZulu-Natal that it happened there. How quickly will this be rolled out and is it expensive? So it's cheaper than the current treatment. Uh, in fact, South Africa's got a pricing deal that for all patients who are living with HIV going on to this particular combination that we call TLD, it, the price is capped at $75 a year, which is amazing. When ARVs were first rolled out, we were happy to get a dollar a day and now we're looking at $75 a year. Um, in terms of it starting off in KZN, that particular district was chosen because they've reached the 390s targets, which is around 90% of people being diagnosed, 90% being on treatment, and 90% actually showing the virus is uh, the treatment is working and they're virologically suppressed. In terms of the rest of the country, the Department of Health should have it in all facilities by the end of March. Very exciting. Congratulations. It's really exciting. <laughs> Michelle, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank very you. Let's take